to the 901. I'm Aaron Wilson. Fresh off their best game this season so far, the Tigers defense is now preparing for not one, but two quarterbacks that they may see in their matchup against Temple this Saturday. EJ Warren, who seems to now be QB1, in addition to Quincy Patterson and Dwayne or Dewan Mathis, have all taken snaps this season. Well, today, defensive coordinator Matt Barnes said that Memphis is preparing to double down on what they did last week, which is forced takeaways, while also preparing for the double pass and reverse pass and the run game as well. Now, the Grizzlies also play Saturday, but on the road in Milwaukee to open up preseason play. Today was day two of Grizzlies training camp, and when asked about whose growth he's focused on more, well, head coach Taylor Jenkins said he's focused on the rookies, and John Morant said something very similar. It's their first go-around. Um, obviously, you know, it might be a lot of, you know, nerves going into it, um, not knowing, you know, what to expect, but, you know, we just try to give them pretty much, you know, the blueprint early so they, you know, not surprised when, you know, coach yell at a certain thing. It's, you know, just telling them, you know, what Memphis Grizzlies basketball is about. And while he's focused on the rookies, well, time is focused on Morant. Today, the Grizzlies took to Twitter celebrating the 23-year-old after being named to the Time 100 Next list, while the Times article called him the human highlight reel. Now, in college hoops, the Tigers announced Memphis Pro Day will be held on October 6th, which is next Thursday. However, we get our first look at the program this Friday. So stay with ABC 24 for that story. The Redbirds finishing off their season on a win. They did not win the series, but they did get today's battle. 8-4 to was the final score against the Nashville Sounds. That's your 9-1, 9-0-1 in 91.